All right. Well, um, on this is day four, but day three of the World Economic Forum was also very full of headlines and a lot of figures coming to Davos to address various different issues. Our Kwanzaa has a wrap up of day three of the World Economic Forum. The 2016 World Economic Forum is now into its final day in the Swiss Alpine town of Davos. On day three, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry outlined the main challenges facing the world in 2016. He said the world had to provide opportunities for young people, win the campaign against a terror group that calls itself Islamic State, and boost humanitarian aid for refugees. President Obama is going to host a summit at the U.N. this fall. And the summit will be the culmination of a sustained, rigorous effort to rally the world community on several fronts to increase by 30 percent the response to humanitarian funding appeals, the number of regular humanitarian donors to increase it by at least 10, to at least double the number of refugees who are resettled or afforded other safe and legal channels of admission, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau also said his country would take and welcome refugees. Now many of you have reached out to me recently in thanks for Canada's compassionate response to the Syrian refugee crisis. But let me tell you something. When I welcomed those first families to Toronto last month, I welcomed them as new Canadians and as the future of the Canadian economy. Also coming from Trudeau after a separate meeting were remarks aimed at actor and activist Leonardo DiCaprio as Trudeau urged the Hollywood star to tone down his criticism on Canada's oil and gas sector. When it comes to oil and gas in Mexico, Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto said that low oil prices will not prevent nor limit the country's energy reform that it has been pushing for along with restructuring in the telecom and finance sector. Day three of the Davos Forum was also the 10th anniversary of the Red Foundation, a leading organization against AIDS, co-founded by U2 singer Bono. So, thank you again. Thank you for being with us on a birthday party. That's a uh... It's rather special, and um, yeah, Nelson Mandela used to say, it always seems impossible until it's done, and um, it's not done yet. This is not a problem of the last decade. We're going to finish this problem in the next decade. Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, said the foundation already has raised 300 million U.S. dollars. Bono and Schwab expressed their hopes for a world free of AIDS. Kwon Soa, Arirang News, Davos.